Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about what is deep vein thrombosis. Also don't forget to subscribe for more tips in the future. But back to our topic. Deep vein thrombosis, DEVT, is a condition in which a blood clot, a blockage, forms in a deep vein. Although these clots usually occur in the veins of the leg, they can also develop in other parts of the body. A DVT is considered a medical emergency and if you suspect that you or loved one might have a DVT, please seek medical attention immediately. News correspondent David Bloom died in 2003 from a DVT at age 39. It is wise to familiarize yourself with the symptoms and risk factors because knowing this information may save your life. Risk Factors A person who is inactive for an extended period of time is at increased risk of DVT. This can happen during a long airline flight, while wearing a cast, following surgery and even when in the hospital for another condition. Other risk factors include, varicose veins, blood clotting disorders, family history of DVT or clotting disorders, heart disease, obesity, chronic leg swelling, dehydration, birth control pills containing estrogen, hormone replacement therapy, pregnancy or recent childbirth, smoking, age, over 40 years old, trauma, recent surgery. The more risk factors a person has, the greater the risk of developing a DVT. But, anyone can develop a DVT, even people without any of these risk factors. Symptoms The most common warning signs are calf tenderness, swelling, warmth and or redness of the leg. However, some people with a DVT have no symptoms or just a very mild discomfort in the leg. A serious complication of DVT is a pulmonary embolism, which may cause death. This happens when a clot breaks loose from the leg and travels to the lung. Symptoms of a pulmonary embolism include, shortness of breath, chest pain, tightness in chest, coughing up blood, Another complication of a DVT is damage to the vein from the blood clot which can result in chronic swelling, pain and discoloration of that leg. Diagnosis Diagnosis can be challenging for a physician, especially when symptoms are vague. Leg swelling can be caused by congestive heart failure or venous insufficiency. Calf tenderness could be caused by tendinitis. If a DVT is suspected, a doctor will order tests that can detect a blood clot in the leg. The most accurate for diagnosis is the venogram. A venogram involves injecting dye into the vein and taking pictures to determine if there is a blockage. A less invasive option is a duplex ultrasound. Due to its high sensitivity and specificity, duplex ultrasound has replaced venography as the most widely used test in evaluation of DVT. Duplex ultrasonography is safe in pregnancy and for those allergic to contract dyes used in venograms. Treatment there are a few options that your doctor may recommend in the treatment of DVT. Anticoagulants, like heparin or gomadin, may be prescribed to thin the blood to prevent accrual or formation of new clots. There are now filters available that can be surgically placed into a large vein to capture the clots. Compression stockings may be used to control swelling in the legs. Prevention If you have risk factors for a DVT, Consider these tips for reducing the likelihood of developing a blood clot, exercise you legs every 2-3 to three hours when on a long trip, walk the aisles of a plane or train, and take regular breaks during a car trip, drink plenty of fluids, avoid alcohol and caffeine, wear compression stockings, take blood thinning medications, if prescribed by your doctor, if you are hospitalized, or having surgery, discuss preventative medication with your physician. Each year, at least 100,000 deaths are attributed to deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolisms. About 1 in every 1,000 adults develop a DVT in a given year. Deep vein thrombosis is a common, serious medical condition that all adults should be aware of. Early symptom recognition and diagnosis improves outcomes and saves lives. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.